All right. The next question is from a live caller. So let's take this call. So, uh, full name, where are you from? So, my name's Daniel Lane. Uh, I live in the UK in a little town called Berkhamstead. Awesome. How long have you been listening to the show, by the way? Uh, it's probably coming up to about two years now, I think. Uh, the fir- uh, first time I heard of you guys was through Ben Greenfield's podcast. Oh, very, um, very cool. About two years ago, and then I went to you guys, and I've been with you ever since. Excellent. So, okay, so you're uh, a trainer out there? You work in the fitness space out in the UK? Yeah, I'm a personal trainer, yeah. How long have you been doing it for? Again, probably about two years now I started. I'm quite late to the game. I'm 35 now, so I was quite late to it, but I guess it was my calling, I think. Oh, beautiful. Never too late. All right, so what's what's your question? How can we help you? So the question was, up until now, I've kind of just, every session I do, I sort of plan it individually or whatever but I'm, I'm kind of i want to set a standard of what i test my client new clients with like a, a standard testing and assessment plan for every session the first session in particular i was wondering what you guys would recommend and suggest for that first session what to test what to assess and and to go from there that's a that's a really good question and it's an important one uh for trainers there's two things uh before we answer that question that I think we need to address. What is the purpose of an assessment in the initial session, you know, that first session? So what's the purpose um, and what's its value? And then also we have to realize what it isn't. Um, So I'll start with what it isn't. Um, An assessment is not going to give you all the answers that are going to last you for months and months and months with your client because their bodies are going to change as you continue to train them. Um, so it's not, yeah. so what, what I think a lot of trainers make a mistake when they do an assessment is they do this like super ultra comprehensive physical assessment. That's extremely detailed. I mean, you could throw that all out once you start training them after about a month because things start to yeah, change. You want to look at it more like a conversation that you're having. You're gathering information about this individual, what they really want. Cause a lot of times people come in and they don't actually know, uh, what they're trying to do specifically other than like some general, uh, health goals and to, to be able to like fine tune that and see maybe where there's some dysfunction, maybe, you know, where you can kind of peer in and give them like a, a real detailed plan, uh, just by gathering some basics. I think that's a good start. Yeah. Now a couple, these are, this is yeah. just, now these are general and, and I, find generally valuable. Um, posture is a great way to kind of give you some clues as to what muscles may be weak, uh, what muscles need to be worked on. Um, a squat assessment. You do visual assessment of that, of the posture or? Yeah. So you have them stand relaxed. So tell them, say, stand up straight and just relax and then walk around mm-hmm. them and look for things like forward shoulder, elevated shoulders, forward head, um, you know, yeah. the, their, their pelvic tilt. And then that will point you in the direction of maybe some other exercises that you may want to look at. For example, let's say they have forward shoulder. Then I may say, okay, it looks like you may have a weakness in your upper mid back. Let me have you try this cable row. Let's take a look uh, at those muscles. Um, another one would be like an over, uh, uh, would be a squat assessment, so I can see how the lumbar, pelvic, hip area is, is moving. Um, and then there's yeah. e- there's general exercise assessments like an overhead press. Allows you to see a few different things. Now, do you have Maps Prime by any chance? Uh, I don't at the moment. I've been waiting for you. I was going to buy it on your uh, your deal for the hundred dollars deal with Prime, Prime Pro, and anywhere, but uh, I couldn't get it on uh, PayPal credit. That's all right. Quite hit the hundred. That's all right. We're going to give mark. it to you. We're going to give it to you anyways. Yeah. So we'll give that to you for free because um, in Prime, you there- I- yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, in Prime, there's a compass test. Uh, I love the compass test for an assessment. It show now. Here's the important thing, though. I want to I want to communicate this to you as a trainer. Okay, the assessment yeah. is as much for the client as it is for you. So when you see something, you make sure you explain it to the client and also explain to them why this particular posture deviation or imbalance may be causing them problems or pain, and then make sure you show them that you know how to work around it or work with it. So you could say, hey, you have forward shoulder. That might cause tightness in your neck. Let me show you an exercise that can work on that area because it's really important that you show the person value so that they hire you and work with you because the reality is you'll be assessing them throughout their whole time to train with and them. And you, you need to know, too, that what Sal's saying right now because, I mean – 
or at least in my first two years, that would sound uh, a little scary and daunting to be able to do that. That's what Prime was all about, right? So we took the the three of us, all of our experience, what we thought were some of the best moves to assess somebody. It's really a tool for trainers. I mean, it helps the average person who wants to learn themselves. But we really designed it with the trainer in mind. Like, what would we? How would we build the first assessment? What would it look like? So I, I think Prime and Prime Pro have to be the two most valuable things that you can own as a as a personal trainer uh, for this reason. Yeah. And, and so make sure you go through it. Justin did actually a free webinar too. So if you haven't taken that and gone through that, that's extremely valuable. It complements. Uh, the program, and that's at what Maps Prime Maps Prime Webinar dot com. Yeah, yeah. So go watch that. That's very valuable information. Uh, that's what the assessment. I'm going to add something too that the guys didn't talk about that I think you'll care about uh, a lot, which is don't yeah. forget too. This is an opportunity for you to lay out what their program is going to look like for uh, being able to set them up for a resign too. So this was a something that I a lot of trainers made as mistakes. I feel when when I was coaching uh, and leading trainers was uh we're you know we're all so heavily focused on helping people and 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 getting better at our craft and and furthering our education and talking about anatomy and understanding nutrition and that stuff is all extremely important but at the end of the day this is also a business for you too and this time when you yeah. as assess somebody is also your opportunity to start to lay out the plan for them so as i'm taking them through this assessment and we're looking at all these different areas of dysfunction or talking about their goals I'm also telling them what we're going to be doing over the next two months, three months, six months, depending on how long I think they're going to need to be with me. And, you know, the first few times you do that, it might feel kind of uncomfortable because it's the first time you're really presenting this way. But the more people you see, the more comfortable you get with being able to look at somebody and go, okay, her goal is this. These are the issues that I got to work on. That should take me five to six months to implement that and to create good behaviors around it, teach her the exercise you need. And you start to let them know a, like a forecast of what to expect. You know, first month, we're going to address all these imbalances. We're also going to work on a little bit of foundational strength and core strength and your posture. You know, month two, I'm going to transition you into a little bit more fat loss. Or then month three, we're going to work on nutrition. And by the way, this is all. Uh, just me being very vague and giving you an example, but that assessment time is a yeah. great opportunity for you also to lay out the plans that you want to do with that client. This sets you up for the re-sign, right? So most people that sign up with you session one, they probably bought a handful of sessions to try you out and then they start and you do this full assessment. Don't forget too to set yourself up business-wise by presenting to them what you plan to be doing with them over the next course of whether it be weeks, months, or even years for some people. Yeah, yeah. So, so Daniel, you, so I, I think I'm going to send you Prime Pro also for free because uh, that's got a lot of correctional exercises in there that I think you'll find a lot of value in. And uh, you've been training people now for two years. Are you full-time? How are you liking it? Uh, so, yeah, it's about two years now. It is my full-time job. I also do a bit of elderly caring on the side, but it's my primary job. I love it. Uh, especially when you get a client that listens to what you say and they get results, then it's, it's, it's like, it's not, you're not at work. It's not even work. It's just great. You get the old challenging client. It's, they really are, you know, you sometimes think my God, but I'm loving it. It's uh, I wish I'd done it years ago. I kind of thought my way out of it 10 years ago thinking, ah, oh, you don't see many trainers older than sort of 30, but that's ridiculous because there's so many routes that you can go once you've, you know, established yourself and with nutrition and things like that. So I'm loving it. I absolutely love it. Hell yeah. I mean, we have, you a, got, go ahead. I've got a lot of information from you guys and uh, yeah. Thank you. We, we have uh, so much respect for trainers. You guys are on the front lines. You're the ones that are really making the long lasting changes. Uh, so we really appreciate, you know, what you do out there. How's the fitness culture out in the UK? Is it uh, I, you know, from what I've heard, it's pretty big. It's the, the gyms are getting pretty popular and personal training is a pretty big career out there. It's the same, I assume, as in the US. You know, Instagram has made it very popular. I remember when I was 25, no, I didn't know anyone that went to the gym or, you know, 18 to 25, I didn't know anyone here that went to the gym. Now everyone goes um, and, I, you know, yeah, it's become huge. Huge. Just the same as the U.S. Really. Right. Excellent. Exc exciting Great. time to be in the space. Awesome. So, Daniel, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I appreciate you asking us the question. Thanks for listening to us. What I'm going to do, 
um, is I'm going to DM you on Instagram and I'm going to get you. No, t- Doug said he's already got it. Oh, Doug already hooked you up. So check your wow, check just your, like that. Check your uh, library; it'll already be in there. You got Maps Prime and Prime Pro already set up. Well, thank you guys. I really, I really appreciate that. Um, it's very kind of you, and I. Uh, yeah, thank you for all you do. It's been a great show to follow. I love it. Awesome, excellent. All right, all right man. Take it easy. Man. You have a good one. Right. Thanks, guys. Cheers.